Hello, welcome back. We're going to take a look at a 30 watt Apple USB-C power adapter and uh, we'll see what it can do. It's got a couple things on the back. Let's get it opened up and see what's inside. The Apple adapter does come up with some specifications for what it can do for output power and what the input power is. At least it does give you some idea what the power adapter can do. They did wrap it in this little bit of plastic. So this adapter does have one unique feature in that this little thing pops off. So you could change this for different plugs without having to change the whole adapter. It does have flip out plugs and overall it's Apple. Let's see if you can see any of the stuff on the side there. You can see here we got this little check mark. I'm not really sure what that is, but it does have a UL listing for safety. It's pretty hard to see the text on these because they're so light in color. Don't want to disturb that perfect Apple. And dust sticks to it like crazy, of course. The packaging weighs 45 grams. The power adapter weighs 99 grams. All right, well, let's plug it in and check out some of its specs. So we can see it's idle, sitting around 0.06 watts. We'll see if that settles down a little. I bet it will. Yeah, you can see this is dropping now. So it's settling down around 0.04 watts idle. Let's kind of keep going. I ended up uh, clocking this around 0.032 watts uh, after letting it sit for a while. Uh, one thing we got to look at though is that idle THD and it's terrible. That's not what we want to see. Well, let's go ahead and plug it in, give it a nice light load and see what happens. So you can see the power came up to about 0.2 watts. That's pretty expected. Power factor didn't really change. Our VA is still pretty low. And our THD actually increased a lot. So this is a pretty, you know, I would say a pretty bad number for such a low power state like this. Let's go ahead and check the different modes. So we got 5 volts right now. It's got 9, 15, and 20. And that's it. So 5, 9, 15, and 20 volts. So it looks like we're in 5 volts, 10 watts right now take it up so you can see that it can change the modes while it's active and delivering power. So there we are, we're at 30. Let's go ahead and take it up to the max power, see what it can do for overload. So we're at 30 watts now. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. And that's it. It's off. So 35 watts. And then it does take a few seconds, but it does recover to the 5 volts. So that's good. So, it, you know, it doesn't have to be unplugged and plugged back in to reset. So that's a good good sign. All right, so let's take a look at the results for this one. You know, it's it's not really that great. The, the power efficiency is okay on the higher end, but it, it really didn't do that good. Quite a bit lower than the other power adapters in its class. And uh, so far, you know, for a, a much more expensive product, this really doesn't deliver on the quality that it should. So. If you're looking for a 30 watt USB-C power adapter, I'm gonna say go with the uh, the Belkin Boost Up because this one just doesn't really do it with these numbers here. So when we take a look at the graph data for idle consumption, you can see that it's it's fairly low, but the THD is high, so it pulls that power quality score down to zero. So it's just in the cluster with the rest of them. Under load, the power quality score does come up, so we see it gets about an 85, but it's you know it's not really pushing above and beyond where you would expect a lot of these other power adapters to be. You would expect a $50 power adapter that's only delivering 30 watts to be way higher than this, and it's just not there. Probably the first adapter I'm gonna say is a hard no, because we know there's something better, and the something better is basically any of them. The Belkin 30 watt is much better. It does have the safety listing, so you can kinda of get the best of both worlds with that one. You know, middle range cost, better, better power. So I'm gonna link that video in over down below in the description. So thanks for watching and check out my other videos. I just did a video on USB power cables and this uh, Zixus cable ended up being the the winner or Zixus, I don't know how to say it. And uh, yeah, so go check out that video. It's a real short video. So, and if you like these, give me a thumbs up and thanks for getting to the end. Bye.